Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today is going to be a logistical nightmare of a day because we are officially moving out of the mechanic station to our new home. Now, in the last episode of Survival, um, the last half of that episode, I went scouting into new areas looking for a new place to set up, and I was looking for places that were near the water so that we could have unlimited access to water and oil respawns and things like that. And was also not far away from the packaging stations so that we could, and the trader, so that whenever we grow food in our farm, we can not have to travel very far to go deliver that food uh, for whatever the trader may be selling in the future of the game. So that means we have to tear everything down. We have a bunch of vehicles that we need to bring over there. We have a whole crafting, uh, refining system that we have to carry with us with tons of chests as well. And the really sad thing is, um, my watering system needs to be rebuilt and everything because I can't just save this and respawn it over there, unfortunately. I have to take all this stuff. Oh man, this is going to be... A nightmare of an episode. But you guys get to come along this journey with me and see, I don't even know how I'm actually going to move all this stuff, to be honest. I want to try to, just for the fun of it, I really just want to try to get everything, uh, as much as I can, onto a single vehicle, because I think that that would be hilarious. And you know, our, our old uh, packing vehicle might be the perfect vehicle to put a lot of this stuff on. We haven't used that vehicle in a while. That's what we used to go to the packing stations and uh, get all those boxes. And the most I've put on it was 26, I think, packages. Yeah, on this vehicle right over here, I put like 26 packages on it. So I wonder how much we can fit. Oh man, we gotta like bring all this stuff with us. Yeah, so in case you were wondering, I don't even know why I'm putting this back here. We're just gonna have to move it anyway. But all of this stuff is going with us. I'm gonna have to tear up all these floors, get all these resources back, put them into more containers. We got the dress bot. We got our cook bot we need to take with us. We got these vehicles. I think I'm actually gonna deconstruct this vehicle because uh, this vehicle can serve the same purpose, but it also is more protected and uses less fuel because it's lighter. All right, so before I do anything too rash with deconstructing stuff, um, let's go ahead and just craft some more chests just for backup, just in case. Because with deconstructing all of our farm and this vehicle and this floor, we're going to be taking a lot of materials down into their individual blocks. So, oh man, I got to remember to keep some of this stuff too. So I want everyone to get your good final look at our farm and our, me our mechanic station because oh, look at the, I'm just going to leave this stuff behind. I remember, I remember at the beginning when I was like, oh, these things have like six durability. I'm going to use those. But uh, no, that is... I, found out that that was not the best idea. So I just left them there and now for, they, they will stay there forever. So there were a couple of spots that I showed you guys in the last episode and asked what your thoughts were. And it seems like a majority of people were in agreement with my first decision uh, or my number one choice, which is the ocean side peninsula rather than the lakeside peninsulas or things like that. Cause the ocean side one was just the most pragmatic out of all of them and has the best access to everything. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna put this packing vehicle. We're gonna put it right down here and I'm gonna try my best to fit as much of this system onto this as I can. This is gonna use so much fuel. Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of fuel, um, do I have, all right, I'm gonna take some of this fuel. Do I have any more that I can craft? Okay, yes. We're just gonna go ahead, just repeatedly craft this stuff. Repeatedly craft all the fuel you can, because we are going to need fuel for this journey. All right, I think I've crafted everything I need to craft, so now it is time. Oh, can I put, I think I want the heavy stuff on the front of this vehicle, for the most part. Can I fit both of these on the front? That would be fantastic. Oh, nope. No, that's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna put this one right there then. And then we'll put one of the refiners. Ugh, that is such an inconvenient. All right, one of them's right there. And we got this one right here. Excellent. All right, now how many of these chests do you think that we can fit there? Oh, that was an empty one. Oh, oh, here we go. So we take the empty ones and the ones that are almost empty, we need to, oh, I need to make more room. All right, so I'm gonna try to any chests that don't have a lot of stuff in them, like these like individual ones, I'm gonna take 
what I can out of them to make them actually empty, because we're going to have the empty chests uh, for other things. They're going to take up less space if they're just in our inventory or even in another chest inventory. So I think I could take this stuff and I can put it over into another chest. All right, and then all the other chests are pretty much full to the point where it's not really worth emptying them out. So now, let me actually put down here, this is going to be the chest of chests. So this chest is going to have all the spare chests in it. So if we need any more storage space, we go to this chest for storage space. Ooh, the cookpot. Let's put the cookpot on the thing. The cookpot can probably go like right there. Look at that. So cute. All right, guys, it is happening. We are officially packing. Oh, I have to remember I have a raid coming tonight. I actually have crops right now. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> okay, so now let's try to put all of these chests on here as best as I can. Oops, I fell. All right, that can go there. This is going to be the best packing job you guys have ever seen. It's not, it's not, it's going to be a mess, an absolute mess. This vehicle is going to be so heavy. I'm just curious like what it's gonna be like if I just try to drive this vehicle on its own. All right, that was everything. That, that's all of, that, this is my entire crafting system right here. Now let's see what happens if I get in this vehicle. All right, I'm gonna turn these engines up. Oh wow, that's all, wait, is that the right engine? Yeah, that's the right engine. This wasn't even nearly on max. Hey, that's not bad. That is not, I was probably gonna use a ton of fuel, but that is not bad at all. Oh, my dress bot. Oh, I forgot about the dress bot. The dress bot needs to go on the vehicle too. Oh, I don't leave any room. Like that. That looks better, I think. I think that's better. Okay, so now it is time to deconstruct this entire floor. And it is almost time for the raid. Don't worry, I'm looking at the clock. I'm just gonna do this as much as I can. And do I have enough ammo on me? Yeah, I have like 100 and, oh, over 134 ammo. All right, we're good. All right, 30 seconds left. I'm heading over right now. We don't wanna, we don't wanna miss this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and activate the floor, our special defensive floor. And oh, did they spawn in? <gasps> they came early. Why did they come in so early? That's not right. That was 10 seconds early. Oh boy, it's laggy. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we should be pretty well protected though. We'll just shoot them from here like we always do. There we go. Anybody else? Anybody else? There we go. <laughs> I love this method. It is so entertaining to see them flip around. All right, and I think that's all we have up close. Now we just got the stragglers on the side that get blocked by the water. This is why I really like the peninsula method because it automatically blocks a lot of the hay bots. All right, what about, I'll let this guy bounce near me down here and I'll get these guys in the meantime. There we go. And how are you doing? How are you doing down here? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Having fun? You're the last one. You're the last one that gets to enjoy this. Uh, this farm is gonna be gone next time you by the next time you come back. So, all right. Now, um, now that I've filled up my inventory with all these blocks, it's time to harvest. All right, we are almost done deconstructing the entire second floor that we had built not too long ago, actually, in our special mechanic station here. Why is this not deleting? All right, there we go. The entire floor is gone. I put the floor in here and now, oh, I almost forgot. I uh, don't want to forget these for the dress bot. We'll put these on the dress bot. I really wish that the stuff that you painted would retain its color after you pick it up and put it back down. That would be so much better for organizing this stuff. If I could like paint certain chests like this color or this color. And then I would, when I put it back down, I would see exactly what I painted it. All right, we got a bunch of lights here. Oh, my seeds, my special seed chest. Guess I'll just put that right there. All right, so I actually, I'm gonna take a couple of chests with me over to my farm because now we have to deconstruct the entire farm. All right, so everybody say your last farewells to the bouncy castle. <laughs> I'm definitely still gonna be using this bounce method at the new area because I just love it so much and it's really, really effective and it could I think in theory, it could impact the boss too. As long as the boss actually gets onto this and um, doesn't break it by like ramming these ramps or whatever, I don't know. But that'll definitely be something that we'll have to find out sooner or later. All right, so I got some chests here. Let's go ahead and put these chests down. 
So I'm going to start with the ramps. I'm going to put all the ramps in one chest and then we'll work on, we'll, we'll work our way out from there. I'm thinking I might have needed to bring more than three chests because these individual objects, they, since they don't stack, they take up so much space. Like, look at this. I got the lights. I can't even fit the rest of these lights. Oh, look at that. That was exactly enough. <gasps> oh, wait, no, there, well, there's still like the lights on the sides that I didn't get in there. And we're going to have all these saw blades as well. So let's go for the saw blades next into the next chest. And this is not even counting like the material, like we still have like the pistons and the watering system, all this stuff. The, this is turning into a, even, I, I knew moving is always a big ordeal. In real life too, moving is always a really big ordeal. But I, I didn't anticipate how much was going to be involved even with this. Let me just go ahead and build myself some easier ways in here, or rather unbuild myself. Oh, the soil. I got to pick up all the soil too. Uh, I don't know if I have enough soil to rebuild a brand new plot. Like here's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. I mean, I have some in here, but definitely not enough. Oh, I got to put all of these chests on the vehicle too. All right, well, here we go. Oh man, I put so much time into figuring out this system. Hopefully it's not going to be as hard next time. All right, we got a bunch of pistons, some more lights, uh, some more interactive parts, more pistons, sensors. Wow, this is already, I'm definitely going to need another one of these things. Oh, I didn't even get the water containers either. Ugh, we're going to have to take lights out of here because I think I want to prioritize. I want all the water stuff together. Okay, now all that stuff is contained. All right, and then I'm going to put mostly building materials over here as we deconstruct all the concrete and stuff. All right, here we go. These heads, I wish I, that's why we really need to be able to destroy stuff because I'm not taking these tote bot, the tote bot heads with me. Well, there goes the entire outside wall. Now it is time to say goodbye to our lovely stairs that I worked so hard on trying to make look nice and functional, nice and functional. All right, another full inventory. Let's see how far this gets us with uh, this right here. And we're full. We can no longer put any more stuff in this particular chest. So now I guess I'll take these three chests back. Oh, cool. I can add them to the saw blades. Oh, that is perfect. I'm so glad. I thought the saw blades were just going to be in the way. All right. So I'm going to take these back and uh, I need to go to my chest full of chests. I hope I don't need to craft more chests. That's going to be so inconvenient if I have to craft more chests. And now we need to stack these somewhere on here, which I think I can do. Uh oh, I'm dying now too. All right, those are packed. Now let's just bring uh, a bunch more with me. All right, here we go. Plenty more room. Let's go ahead and start loading up more chests. I made the mistake of, uh, of tearing down all the lights <laughs> before I finished deconstructing everything else. So now it's really hard to see, but I'm at the process right now. I've taken down most of the walls except for the wall that's holding up all my chests because um, so, I need to put the chests like one by one onto a vehicle. So I'm going to bring the vehicle over here. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of picking up all the soil one by one now, which uh, isn't the quickest thing since soil takes some time to pick up. But this should be done, you know, probably before sunrise. What's sleep? Who needs sleep? All right, there we go. The entire plot has been lifted. Can I fit all? Nope, I cannot. I'm going to have to just put most of this into uh, probably its own chest might be good. There we go. This is going to be the wow. This is a lot of soil. I didn't realize how much soil that was. All right, well, that all gets almost its entire chest. What I've also done was I took all of these tote block heads and I'm, I just welded them all to the ground and to each other because I don't want a bunch of free floating objects just hanging out around here while I'm gone. All right, so one of the only things left for the farm is all of these tiny chests, which are now going to be repainted. Oh, I have them all painted to represent what's inside them. Like orange has carrots and the other orange has orange. <laughs> Actually, oh, there's a timer hidden in there. I didn't realize that. All right, we'll get the timer out of there. I think I can take one more layer of this without them falling to the ground. There we go, all right. And this is the building blocks chest, as you can see. This is the more interactive blocks chest. All right, we got two extra test chests that we don't even, we're not even using right now. You know what, before I even add these chests, I'm actually going to deconstruct this as well down into its uh, parts because we no longer need this vehicle. This is just an oversized scouting vehicle with no defenses at all. So we're just going to take all this. Oh, yeah, we get more engines and stuff. All right. This is this is good. This is a good thing to deconstruct here. 
More suspension too. Actually, I don't, I don't need more suspension. I really don't need more suspension. All right, let's give this thing its own chest. So this is like vehicle parts, pretty much. Suspension, suspension. Su Why am I missing a suspension? Oh, here it is. All right, well, there it is. This is pretty much our vehicle minus the concrete. All right, so let's go ahead and slap our old vehicle pretty much back onto this thing. There's, how much do these things weigh? Do you think it matters how much you have inside these chests that determines its weight? Probably not. It's probably just the chest weighs the same regardless if it's full or empty. Okay, I think everything that we're taking from the actual mechanic station has now been packed onto this. So now we just have to go and get all of our seeds from our farm. Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? You know what? I should not be wasting the gas on this. I'm just going to carry my vehicle on the lift over. There's going to be no rhyme or reason to any of this. It's going to be the most disorganized packing and unpacking is going to be a nightmare. Just like, what's this? What's this? What did I do here? It probably would have been smarter to plan this out a little bit more. And then I would have like had different spaces for different types of things to be packed away. But um, I decided to go with the improvisational technique of just making it up as I go along. And so far, it's at least getting us somewhere. I feel like if I tried to think it through, I would have just gotten paralyzed with options and not not ever settled on what I wanted to actually do. I think it was better for me to just do it. All right, there we go, man. I can see, I can just see the compression happening on this vehicle and it doesn't even have suspension. I hope this thing can actually drive. Yeah, I'm not taking these water buckets with me either. Maybe I should, I probably should. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the water buckets with me. You like how I did a complete 180 there from the beginning of that thought to the end of it? All right, does this thing drive? Let's find out. Can I can I even get into the driver's seat, please? That's not the drive. No, I'm. I don't know if I can get into the driver's seat. How do I get into this vehicle? Here we go. There we are. All right, can we drive? Ooh, those wheels are not having a good time, but we're driving. How's the fuel right now? This was full. This was full. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna have enough fuel. Like here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back to my mechanic station. You saw we had 44 fuel, right? We had 44 fuel in this thing. Let's go ahead and drive this. Oh man, my wheels are not having a good time at all. My back wheels, the bearings are just all over the place. All right, so to go from there to here, we went from 44 fuel to 41 fuel. Okay, that's not, it's not horrible, but I don't think we're gonna make it. I need to get fuel from another vehicle. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take my drilling vehicle over there first and my scouting vehicle together. I'm gonna drive the scouting vehicle back after taking the drilling vehicle over there. And then I'm just gonna get all the fuel I have and then try to take our actual base with us. But first, before I leave this place, I just want to collect all of the Haybot legs that are just flying, flopping all around here. All right, so I've just made a tow hitch that I should be able to attach my scout vehicle to, just like that. And when I take this off the lift, look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and take these vehicles to the location and then whatever fuel I have left over, is what we're going to drive back with on the lighter vehicle. Why are my wheels not spinning? I'm just dragging the vehicle. Shouldn't the wheels be like spinning? I guess the brake gets automatically applied. I think I might just detach the engine then. All right, is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, wish me luck. We got a ways to go. All right, I think this is the area over here. Once we get to this big tower, we just gotta take a right, but go behind it. And there should be a peninsula back here, and that's going to be the start of our new base. All right, I see some loot over there, but I'm really not focused on that loot right now. All right, this is it over here. I'm gonna have to chop some trees down, make this a little bit more clear. We're gonna have a big tree here no matter what. So yeah, actually before, oh, it is like, yeah, I need to, det I need to uh, detach these. ASAP. All right, and then I'm just gonna chop these trees. Oh, that tree's too big for this sledgehammer. I've actually, uh, are all these? Oh, I gotta attach the engine back to this. <laughs> I almost lost my vehicle into the water. 
All right, but are all these trees, all these trees are too big for the sledgehammer, really? What? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to build a, a saw-based vehicle. I've never actually sawed trees down before. Oh, here we go. We can at least get this one down. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the night uh, just getting rid of these things. All right, the trees that I could clear are cleared. How much fuel am I gonna get from this thing? Oh, that's good. This is really good. We have a decent amount of fuel from that. I think we're gonna use all the, I don't think we're gonna make it. I think that that is how heavy that this vehicle is going to be. All right, so I'm gonna leave that vehicle there and we're gonna go back in this one and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drag this one behind our entire base vehicle. Oh my god, guys, I forgot all of this stuff. I forgot. There's still so much. <laughs> There's still a lot more we have to add to this thing. Oh no, it's gonna be even heavier. <sighs> okay, well, um, at least it's still nighttime, so I just wanna, I, we have some time. I don't wanna waste all the daytime doing this, so we have some nighttime to do this with. Oh my goodness. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very emotional moment in front of us right now. The sun is rising, shining the light on what was our first home, our first shelter, the first place that we really became a scrap mechanic in survival mode. We learned how to survive here. We learned how to craft here. We learned how to farm here. We experienced raids from just a couple little greenies all the way up to three bosses all at once, right in this spot right here. And we, uh, we successfully defended this farm. We built an automatic watering system we built a bouncy castle. <laughs> we had a lot of good times here. And then, of course, we can't forget the actual station itself. The beacon of light that always helped us find our way back home after a scouting journey or a looting mission or just uh, anything, really. Just We always had to find our way back home right here. I think we're going to have to probably make our own beacon of light in our new area. Ah, oh, and who could forget? <laughs> the sleeping quarters where we found our master battery to turn on the mechanic station. Yep, we had a lot of great, great memories here, but uh, sometimes once you grow up, you gotta leave home and you gotta go out on your own and get your own place, you know? That's, that's what we're gonna be doing today. <laughs> all right, let's get all welded up and let's hope that this isn't super laggy. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. So this is it. This is our home. Our home. All right here. Here, let's go ahead and fill ourselves up with fuel. We have full fuel now, so we can get a gist of just how much fuel we're gonna be using. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We might not be able to do this. Holy cow. Oh, well, it also doesn't help. Here, here, here. You know what I'm gonna do? Rather than turning these wheels off, I am actually going to... I'm gonna get rid of this sideways joint here. All right, I have an idea. We're gonna... Our, our scout vehicle is actually gonna help push us. So I'm actually going to disconnect this engine from this seat. Ugh. And we're going to connect it up to our driver's seat up here. Which one is the driver's seat? That one. There we go. So now we should control both vehicles with this one seat. And did I take all the gas out of here? No, that's still full of gas. All right, so now we're going to push ourselves as well as pull ourselves. There we go. This is working. This is our home. This is our home right here. Oh, I can't believe it. Everything we own. Let's see uh, if we can manage to get this without too much of an issue all the way over to our new base or our new location. All right, how fast do you think until we run out of fuel? Do you think we'll make it on this one thing of what, 100 fuel? I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's really, really helping that my back vehicle is pushing me though. I don't think we would be making it otherwise. The way that those wheels were flexing. All right, we're making it. I think this is gonna work. I think we're actually going to make it. All right, we're going up an incline now. Let's see how this treats us. Oh, it is struggling. It is definitely struggling. All right. Oh, here we are. Here we are. It's, it's downhill from here. We're still on the same tank of fuel. How much? Take a bet. How much? How much fuel do you think we're actually going to have left? 
We started with 100. How much do you think is going to be left in here? I mean, that's not even including how much fuel that the pushing vehicle is using. But just on this front vehicle, I wonder how much is going to be left. I'm going to say that there's going to be 40 left. Maybe we use 60 fuel, but we made it. Look at this, we're here. We're actually here. We brought our entire base with us. Oh man, unpacking and setting up is gonna be a nightmare. I don't even know where to begin. I think that's like uh, the next handful of episodes are gonna be building a new base. All right, did you make your predictions? How much fuel do you think we used? And here we go. Whoa, whoa. That's way less than I thought. I thought we were gonna use like 60 fuel. We used less than 20. That was super efficient. What about back here? Yeah, we used the same in both. Do you think it's because I had two gas engines and all these wheels hooked up to the same driver's seat that it kind of just, it divided the load a lot more? That may have actually helped us a lot. Huh, all right. Well, that was way better than I thought it was gonna go. I feel like we need to secure this vehicle. <laughs> I might have to weld this vehicle down because I don't want this thing drifting off into the ocean. Here, let's create it. I, I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to create a weld point right here. There we go. A vehicle is welded and secured. We shouldn't have any issues with this drifting away from us now. All right, so welcome to our new location. Uh, we're going to do some deforesting here a little bit. Get rid of some of these trees to make our entry path a little bit more clear. But I'm going to have to build an actual a saw system to do that with. Uh, our farm is going to be right in this general area. We're going to have to rebuild the farm, rebuild the walls, rebuild the bounce system, which I guess we could have the bounce system pretty much on the front aligned all the way across here. And then I'm going to build my actual uh, like base back out over the water. We're going to be attached to the land here and we're going to build out over the water. That way we have pretty much unlimited space to work with and very, very flat space to work with. And then whenever we have oil become a uh, automated resource, we have just oil right underneath us. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations for how you want to see the future of this base take shape, then leave those down in the comments below because uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff to do. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thanks for all this amazing support on it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes like this and go ahead and check out some other videos on the end screen right here because if you enjoyed this, I'm sure you'll enjoy some other content as well. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.